This is the flat bead frame. And we use the flat bead frame to, for long multiplication. So let's take a look at it and see what we notice. It's kind of like the large bead frame because it has beads on the wires, but these beads are all golden. They're, they're not the colors of the units, tens and hundreds, like on the large bead frame. Just like the checkerboard, we put the multiple hand down here at the bottom and the multiplier along the side. And you can see that we've got a space for units, tens, hundreds, and thousands in our multiplier. And our multiple hand can go all the way to the hundred millions. Uh, it's important to keep when uh, the golden beads up here at the top, that means we have zero on the frame. And these lines tell us where to start our uh, multiplication with a given multiplier. So let's go ahead and try a multiplication. I'm going to write down a problem. Let's do, let's do 5,234 times 23. So let me show you how we make this on the frame. We need a strip of paper here for our multiplicand. And I will write 5,234. I want it to line up with its category, so there we go. And then we're multiplying by 23. So let's get some gray numbers here. All right, we start with our units multiplication. Units times units. 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to make 12 on my B frame. See, I have 12. Now 3 tens times 3 is going to give us 9. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, when I get 10 on this frame, I exchange for the next category. 2 hundreds times 3, that'll be 6 hundreds. 5 thousands times 3. That's 15,000. So there's my 15,000. Okay, we've done our units multiplier. Now let's multiply by our tens multiplier. Now take a look at this. This black line is telling me to start the multiplication on this wire. But what about my poor units multiplier? <laughs> Multiplicand. We need to, we can't miss that. So watch what we do. Just going to slide that strip over, basically, you know, increasing that times 10 so that now I can just multiply by 2. All right, so 4, tens, ten, four times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 times 2 is 4. And 5 times 2 is 10. So that just means one of these. So let's take a look. When I multiply 5,234 times 23, I ended, I had two units, eight tens, three hundreds, zero thousands, two ten thousands, and one hundred thousand. So 5,234 times 23 equals 120,382. Let's try another one like this. 